All right, in this video, I wanna cover how do we handle a rotary position that's gonna take us back to the top of the part after a transform plane. So that's something that we really need to talk about. So what I've done is I've created a program here with stock geometry of a six inch cube, did some work on the top of the part, then I went in and I did a transform plane to work on the uh, right side of the part. Started out with my rotary position like we talked about in another video. You always start with the rotary position. I did a polygon on the top of the part. Transform plane to the right side. I did a four-sided polygon. Now I ended the transform plane, meaning that everything we do from this point on will reference the top side of the part in our original part setup. However, there's something that we need to be aware of. If I insert a mill circle here, and let's say I do that at four inches, two inches, let's go down a half inch, one, and a pocket boundary, I would expect to see a circle on the very top side of the part. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna draw this. Oh, I gotta give it a, a radius. I'll go in and draw this, and we would expect to see a circle in that bottom right corner of the top side. If I turn on my show all, let's see what happened to it. So if I zoom out now, we're gonna notice that that circle is, is there, but it's in some odd space. That would put it somewhere in reference to the tool, or to the part, after the transform plane had ended, but the machine would still be in the condition that it was when we machined the, the right side of the part. So nothing ever told it to go back up to the top of the part. When we do a transform plane, in essence, we're telling the machine to position. When we, trans when we cancel that transform plane and we create a new transform plane right after that, it will position based on the new transform plane. But if we cancel a transform plane and then just start programming geometry, nothing commands the machine to go back to zero. So what we have to do is after your transform plane end and before the three axis work you wanna do on the top side of the part, we're gonna insert a rotary position. Now we're telling the machine, go back to zero. And if we were to draw this same part again, we'll see that that circle goes where it's supposed to go. So. Whenever you do a transform plane and you end it, and you mean to go back to the top of the part, you have to put in a rotary position. That actually works out pretty good when I'm looking through this program now. I can see that I have a rotary position here. That tells me visually I'm working on the top side of the part. Anytime I see a transform plane, I know that I'm working somewhere other than the top side of the part. And as I highlight each block, I can go to notes, and then put some information in here, like the right side, um, referencing bottom left corner, or whatever, but I can put some information. So now as I'm navigating through my program, I can tell what's a transform plane, where is it going by the notes if I choose to put those there, and anytime I see rotary position, I know that I'll be working on the top side of the part. As an uh, option to that, I could have also put in what we call a null transform plane. So I could insert a rotary transform plane, but leave everything at zero. I'm not shifting the origin point, it's gonna be at the original location, and we're not rotating around anything, um, any, any of the machine coordinates where everything will be as the original part setup was. We didn't move anything. But the bad, or the, the downside of doing that is I have to put in a transform plane end. But I will get the exact same behavior and I'll get that where it needs to be. One of the benefits to doing it this way may be if I wanted to just rotate around the z-axis for some reason. This feature on my print is actually rotated a little bit. I could use this to um, transform to the center of that and rotate just around the c. But the most Common way to do it, the easiest way to do it is just to add a rotary position there after your transform plane end, and then anything after that will be done on the top side of the part. 